This week, we're focusing on finding the missing number in a number problem. Children find it especially tricky because we are thinking backwards, going back from 17 to find out what could be the missing number after 12. So, this is how you work it out. First, you draw a straight line as a number line, and you're going to start with 12 because that's the number that's given. And you're trying to get up to 17 by jumping on a blank number line. Starting from 12, you're going to jump. Remember that you need to count on from 12. You're not going to count 1, 2, 3. You're going to count on from 12. So it'd be 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Once you've got to 17, you're going to stop there. And you're going to put 17 underneath it. But just to be sure, you're going to count again. 12, 13... 14, 15, 16, 17. Now you need to count how many jumps you've done. So it'd be one jump, two jumps, three jumps, four jumps, and five jumps. So the missing number to this problem would be five. Could you please practice with your children? Thank you. Another example of problem that we have been doing is this. So there's a missing number first, and you add six and you get up to 13. Children get confused because they don't have a number to start on a number line like this problem. So, what can we do to help children understand this? What you can do is getting them to understand that something, a missing number plus six is exactly the same as six plus missing number. It will help them if you write the question again underneath it's the exact same question, but because the six comes up first, they will be easy to write them onto a number line. Six, and you need to do certain jump to... So six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and you're going to stop there. But just to be sure, you're going to check again. Six, seven, eight... 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13. How many jumps did we do? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 jumps. So the missing number would be 7. There you go.